Hey there everybody, my name is John Siskovich and I'm with Farm Marketing Solutions. And if you're watching this video in series in 2020, you know that I've been walking, uh, walking us through some egg numbers and I'm very proud of those videos. They took a lot of effort. I wanna get into some lighter topics, have a quicker video today. And for those of you not watching in series, I'm about to do something that you may think is unthinkable and I'm gonna tie in your farm marketing, your CSA marketing, your subscription farm service marketing to a toilet paper company. And uh, this one's gonna be fun today. Let's uh, stay tuned, see where this thing goes. So thanks for subscribing to the YouTube channel. It's been a pleasure to create content for you guys this year. I'm having a blast doing it and I'm going to work in as many toilet puns as I can in today's episode. So today we're going to go over the uh, kind of philosophy, the thinking behind why I bought the product that I did, I, that I bought and then we're going to talk about in today's consumer review. We're going to talk about the marketing of that specific product, which happens to be toilet paper. Uh, and then we're going to tie it into your CSA marketing. If you're having, if you have a subscription service as a farm, this toilet paper company can teach you something super valuable uh, that is just such a great takeaway. It's something good that you can implement now, even if it's early in the season, something that you can plan for coming up down the road. It's always good to plan ahead um, because that's what we like to do as farmers. You, know, you make a plan and then you let nature happen and see, you know, nature happens. Um, and then at the very end of this video, uh, I'm not going to plug anything that I have. I actually have some friends that I want to share some links for, and uh, we'll get into that just at the end of this video. Oh, so before I forget, next week I'm going to do a website critique for a friend of mine. Uh, I have friends and family who send me their websites and want me to look over them, give them some marketing advice. I'm that kind of weird kind of guy who watches TV for the commercials. Marketing advertising is kind of my bag. So we're going to review uh, Farmer Brad's website next week on this channel. You can like it and subscribe it and hit ever the buttons that the people on the YouTube ask you to do to get the notifications, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let's just get on today's video. So in Mining Kate's never ending search to reduce our environmental impact, you know, global warming is a thing. Uh, we have two daughters. We're taking stock this year. Now that we've kind of, we have a place we know we're going to live at for a while. We have uh, work lined up that seems pretty steady and we're going to be at, uh, for the, you know, the, at least the near future. And, uh, so now we're re working on reducing our carbon footprint, um, we have taken specific looks at the products that we buy, which is kind of the impetus behind this whole series of doing consumer reviews because we thought long and hard about the choices that we made when we went to the store. Now, one of the places that often gets overlooked is the bathroom. When you think about what you put in your hair, what you wash your body with, um, and all that flows down in the drain and out into nature, so you can go down that path. We're not going to cover that kind of product in today's, today's video. Um, using a plastic loofah that once that loofah is done, it lives on as microplastics uh, forever. So moving towards more natural fiber uh, washcloths or loofah based bamboo things. I don't know. Uh, again, not what we're talking about. So toilet paper is something that you use every day. Think about, I got into farming because it is a universal language. Everybody eats and everybody poops. If you're a human being, you, you do those two things on a, usually a daily basis. And um, so I started poking around at uh, toilet paper companies and looking for something a little bit more sustainable. And I found, uh, who gives a crap? <laughs> and think about what they're trying to do here. They're starting a toilet paper company where they're marketing toilet paper in a more sustainable way where it's something that everybody's got their brand. They know like some people are diehards for one company or another. They like that sensation on the backside. Um, you know, whether they get that like nice crisp thin sheet grit or that soft pillowy goodness of Cottonelle or, you know, whatever the, the spectrum is of toilet paper, they're taking, uh, every, the, the growing desire to have a more, uh, thoughtful environmental impact and utilizing it uh, to market a toilet paper company that the the big selling point is that they're made out of bamboo fibers and bamboo really fast growing 
more sustainable, uh, something that can be harvested and grown over again. When you're harvesting and growing bamboo, you're sequestering carbon. Uh, so it's not just cutting down forest to then wipe your butt with it. You're, you're growing a, what is essentially a grass. And for me, the grass farmer, uh, that works out really well. Now, when you order this, you get like a 50 pack of uh, toilet paper. And I did the pricing structure and it falls into the like upper mid to kind of high end toilet paper. It's like the mid grade toilet paper. The pricing works out where it's not like the individually wrapped Scott's like 99 cent a roll. Um, but it's, you know, the, the pricing structure worked out to around where we were spending on toilet paper anyways. Uh, and you're buying it in bulk. So that kind of cuts down on some of it. So pricing worked out really well and we liked the environmental stuff. So we gave it a try. This was our first order of this. And now having gone through the whole box, I'm going to order again because I happen to like uh, what they're doing here. Now, when you get the normal rolls of toilet paper, um, they have these uh, like just like fun designs. They're very brown themed on our first package and then I went to go reorder and they have more colors now uh, to make it a little bit more vibrant. Um, but I get the brown and white kind of like monochromatic theme of the, the toilet paper here. You, you have all these fun designs and there's like stripes and all the things that I didn't take pictures of. And when you get to the bottom of the box of toilet paper, it comes in a big box, you get down to the golden ticket, your, your final rolls. And they have like three or four of these and they on the packaging for the other ones it's just like their branding it's premium toilet paper um, and then you get down to this one and it doesn't have their branding it says emergency roll with exclamation points uh oh uh oh you're literally living life by the seat of your pants if you don't order more toilet paper soon there's no telling what will happen actually we know and it's not pretty talking to you like a human making it funny lighthearted. there's a lot of potty jokes it's bathroom stuff great marketing they not only changed the color of the package they went from a design to a solid color made it gold and made it stand out uh, but they changed the language um, that they're using to market that toilet paper. And these were found at the very bottom of the box. So you had to go through all the rest of the toilet paper to get to these rolls of toilet paper. And this was great. And it all ties into CSA marketing, I swear. So um, then they give you a call to action, reorder at whogivesacrap.org. Uh, don't be that person who forgets to order more. Seriously, there's nothing worse than running out of toilet paper. Um, <clears throat> in case of emergency, tear open the wrapper. And on the inside, there's uh, just like, you know, somebody wrote it on the board uh, 100 times, don't forget to order more toilet paper. Uh, and it even has you cut this out and put it where you'll remember it. You know, you rip it out when you're in the toilet because you're sitting on your toilet, you're on your phone, you're watching YouTube videos of John Siskovich talking about toilet paper on the toilet. It's like very meta. Um, <clears throat> so this is great for you as a CSA marketer, whether you're vegetables, beef, protein, chicken, uh, honey, whatever it is, when you're selling a subscription service throughout the year. Now this is a subscription service 365 because people poop every day. When I had my chicken CSA uh, during the season, I do a chicken a week for 20 weeks and towards the end of the season, I'm starting to capture testimonials and see what people thought for the year, get people interested for next year. If I have my pricing structure worked out and I know what next year is going to look like, I'll start to take pre-orders. But on your last shares of the season, and this is something you can plan for, put in the calendar as you're mapping out your CSA now, say the last four weeks, the last month of your season, start marketing next year's shares. What did people like? What did people not like? Take surveys uh, and encourage them to give you feedback and place a pre-order for next year. You know, putting that deposit down uh, in the fall when they, you know, when you're not not coming out of the winter, because winter is like a leaner month for or a leaner season, or at least for me, uh, with a lot of small businesses where people are a little more price conscious coming out of the holidays. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to throw down all this money for a CSA. When you're in the summer and you're going back to school and um, whatever, you're, you're thinking about maybe next year, you put that, some of that money aside now, you get that person's information, you get them locked in, and then you kind of pre-filled your funnel for next season's CSA. 
building in those reminders, having that special golden roll. Maybe if you're selling chickens, if there's any way, you don't, you know, sometimes you're locked in on your label because you have USDA requirements, food requirements, but you can change the color of the label and that label is going to look different. It's going to stand out. And at the bottom, you might be able to say, join next year CSA, or don't forget to sign up for the 2021 CSA. Um, or your box of vegetables, you can throw in an extra flyer or printout that gives information on what people can expect next year after your survey results from you know mid-season. So great piece of um, agricultural marketing from an unexpected place. I was sitting in the bathroom and had a revelation you know, on the throne and was like, this is a brilliant idea. I opened up this toilet paper and I was like, us farmers should be doing this as well. Uh, and I thought just really fantastic. So at the end of every video, there's a plug for something for you guys to do. And quite honestly, it's not something that I want you to come visit a, another asset of mine, but I have a, <laughs> you see what I did there? Toilet paper marking asset, come on. Um, I have a lot of friends who have really good information. And one of the reasons why I chose toilet paper was to wipe off all the BS marketing from people who are claiming to be pasture raised and are not pasture raised. Now at the bottom in the comment section of, uh, or the description of every YouTube video, I've been adding in links of people that I know and trust and I like their content and I believe a lot of the stuff that they put out. Uh, that's Pasture Poultry Talk with Mike Badger. He's got a great podcast. Uh, the American Pasture Poultry Producers Association, uh, APA.org. And um, Paul Shim, Paul Shim Photo, who edits my videos. Mike Marks Creative, who helps me with creative direction uh, and visual design. Um, so some of my friends and uh, I, will, I, will, I want to say family, I was going to say friends and family, but a lot of these people are family to me at this point, are in the links uh, in the description for each video. If you want to go check out their links, I'm not getting anything by plugging any of these people other than the fact that it's growing the community, it's sharing resources with you guys, it's so that you can see where I'm getting some of my information and in fact check me to keep me honest uh, in my videos and uh, you know that's all we can hope for with the internet being such a wild west these days. Thanks for taking like 10 minutes to watch my, uh, my, my rant on toilet paper. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day and until next time I will see you out in the field. Mm -hmm.